Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfect Natus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our microbiology and infectious diseases playlist. In previous videos, we talked about the Clostridia. Today, we'll turn our attention to the branching filamentous gram-positive bacteria, namely Nocardia and Actinomyces. Now, let's get started. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. What does microbiology mean? Ology means the study of, bio is life, micro is small. So it literally means the study of small life. What microbes do we have? We have bacteria, fungi, viruses, and parasites. Ergo, microbiology is divided into many branches. We have bacteriology, fungology or mycology, the study of fungi, virology, and parasitology. Are we talking today about gram-positive cocci? No, we're talking about gram-positive rods. If you remember the clostridia, they were spore-forming. But today we're talking about non-spore-forming bacteria, namely Nocardia astroides, which is aerobic, and Actinomyces israeli, which is anaerobic. In my video about Carinibacterium diphtheria, I've told you why Carinibacterium is not acid fast because it has a very short chain of mycolic acid versus mycobacterium tuberculosis and nocardia which are acid fast why because they have medium to long chain mycolic acid in their cell wall so here's the moral of the story if you have mycolic acid in short chains you are not acid fast if you have medium chain mycolic acid like nocardia you are weakly acid fast but if you have long chain mycolic acid like mycobacteria you are strongly or fully acid fast so let's recap corinibacteria short chain mycolic acid therefore not acid fast nocardia medium chain mycolic acid therefore weakly acid fast mycobacterium long chain and therefore strongly acid fast so today we're talking introduction to nocardia and actinomyces both of them are gram positive rods non-spore forming branching we're talking filaments that resemble fungi what's the study of fungi called uh, mycology oh that's why we called it mycolic acid branching filamentous like the hyphae of fungi Nocardia is aerobic, but actinomyces anaerobic. Nocardia is weakly acid fast, actinomyces not acid fast. So when I asked actinomyces two questions, the answer was always in the negative. Hey, actinomyces, are you aerobic? No. Are you acid fast? Also, no. But when I asked Nocardia, she answered in the affirmative. Hey, Nocardia, are you aerobic? Yes, I am. Are you acid fast? Yes, I am, although weakly, partially. Nocardia, strictly aerobic organism, thin filaments that resemble the hyphae of fungi. That's why we say mycolic acid. That's why we say mycetoma. Hey, Nocardia, do you stain with gram? I do not stain well with gram. I was supposed to be gram positive, but because I stain poorly with gram stain, I do not absorb the crystal violet well. It gets washed away. That's why I might give you a very pale stain that resembles the gram negatives because I did not absorb the violet well. It got washed away and I ended up with the fuchsia color. Pale pinkish color. So I might look like gram negatives, although I'm not. So what should we do? Use acid fast stain. I am weakly acid fast. What does that mean? Weakly acid fast means weak acid resistant. If you are one of those weirdos who still owns a dictionary, like me, look at the definition of the adjective fast. And one of the definitions is firmly fixed, stable, tightly shut, etc. So when I say that nocardia is weak acid fast, it means that it's resistant to discoloration or decolorization with weak acids, i.e., Throw weak acid in the face of nocardia and nocardia will not be affected because it's fast, resistant to the weak acids. Weak acids will never decolorize nocardia. Now let's go back to our table. Now we know that corinibacteria, not acid fast, therefore, what does that mean? Not acid resistant, not resistant to acids, i.e., if you throw acid in Corinibacteria's face, this acid will decolorize the bacteria. Do the same with Nocardia. Weak acids will not decolorize Nocardia. Do the same with Mycobacteria. Whether you do it with weak acid, strong acid, any kind of acid, they will fail 
to decolorize mycobacteria. That's why mycobacteria are fully and strongly acid fast, i.e. acid resistant. Nocardia, my goodness, look at those thin filaments that resemble the hyphae of fungi. Gram positive rod, non spore forming, immotile, aerobic, yes, strictly so. Branching, beaded, urease positive, i.e., capable of converting urea into ammonia. Nocardia lives in the soil. Nocardia is weakly acid fast. Nocardia causes signs and symptoms, especially if you're immunocompromised. Signs and symptoms include lung abscess, cavitary, lung lesions, brain abscess, kidney abscess, skin infections, mycetomas, etc. And you treat it with the TMP SMX. As for actinomyces israeli, gram positive rods. Spore forming? No. Aerobic? No. They are anaerobic still branching part of the oral flora in your mouth yellow sulfur granules in your mouth in case of oral trauma facial abscess etc or in the genitourinary organs causing genitourinary infections with yellow sulfur granules the treatment is good old penicillin in the upcoming videos we will elaborate on nocardia and actinomyces if you like this video if you want to learn more about penicillin trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole the other antibacterials antifungals antivirals and antiparasitic medications download my antibiotics course at medicosisperfectionatus.com. No subscription needed. You download it once and you keep it for you forever. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.